but what's good youtube in today's pokemon video we're going to be looking at my updated pokemon card collection for 2024 We are not going to be looking at any of my bulk cards I have sitting in these ETBs up here. But if you guys want to take a closer look at these, I have some pack artworks in my little box right there. There you can see the packs, you know, X and Y, Phantom Forces, Shining Fates, some of my sets that I like or have artworks of. We'll be looking through all my graded slabs and all of my binders. <clears throat> But when you guys watch this video, I want you guys to comment down below what your favorite item from my card collection was. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Peace. Alright guys, first up, we're looking at our graded slabs. As you can see right here, I have three slabs to show for you guys. First, we're going to get into the one that's pretty obvious. It looks very different. As you can see, it says Gengar. Here, it is a Gengar Golden Sticker from 1999. And let's see what that grade is here. It is a mint 9, so not a gem mint 10, but not as bad as a near mint 8. We got a 9. You cannot beat a 9. Well, I mean, you can with a 10, but a 9 is always great. Next up, we have our two regular Pokemon cards. I think we should go with CGC first. Let's see here. The grade's a lot bigger, so hopefully I don't scuff this. Hopefully you guys didn't see, but as you can see, this is like a Cario EX from Furious Fist 2014. Now, see that grade right there? It is another Mint 9. I love cards from this era because this is kind of when I was collecting as a child. The full arts are so amazing from this kind of X and Y era and even black and white. But I really, really love this card. Next up is our final slab. We have a PSA slab. So, two PSA slabs and one CGC slab so far for me. As you can see right here, we have a first edition Pikachu from Jungle 1999 Pokemon. And the grade is a excellent mint six. I saw this in the card shop the other day when I was there and I knew I had to pick it up. I knew next time I went, it would be gone. It's not a super expensive slab. I paid like 20 bucks for it. But yeah, just a really nice first edition Pikachu. Then we got that Lucario EX Mint 9. And then that Gengar Gold Sticker Mint 9. So there you go, our three slabs. I really like the Gengar for how unique it is. Alright, next up we got the OG Binder. Let's look at the Jumbo card in the back first. As you see, it's a Charizard EX from 2014, I think. 2013? What does that say? 2014. But yeah, super good card. The condition is... um not that good but yeah then we got the starter binder uh i got this binder a long time ago when i was a kid but there we get the clod sire ex a torchic that's pretty old great tusk radiant and then we got the zorark v full art promo uh the lugia deck box promo i think that's from like 2013 2014 something like that 2015 i think that says then we got that dragonite korean card the electabuzz the Electabuzz actually has a crimp on it, if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see, but it does. It's very subtle. Then we got that Purloin. Beautiful a Radiant Collection, I think that is. Then we got all the starters and Pikachu from Korean 151. Then we got Piplup, a little old Piplup. I think that's from like 2011, 2009, something like that. Mesprit Hollow, Polyrath Hollow, Superior Hollow. These are some older cards. Polyrath is actually from when I opened a Sun and Moon pack. There's a video on that. Then we got this little random trainer. We got the page of um, Team Plasma cards from Plasma Blast. Three of them are reverses. One of them is not. I didn't have four to be honest. And then just a random Team Plasma badge. And then yeah, that's basically it. And then we got the Fido sticker, obviously. But yeah, that's it for the binder. Next, we're moving on to the top loader binder. We got that hollow Vaporeon from Jungle, the base set unlimited nine tails, ancient Mew, as you can see right there, a little level X, some Japanese, as you see a little swirl on the Vileplume right there, a little zoom in on that. Then we got the Wigglytuff, also has a swirl right beside him from base set two, nine tails, base set unlimited. It's my only unlimited or base set card. Then we got this Ancient Mew, obviously. It's not the greatest condition, but it's really not too bad. I picked it up for like 20 bucks. 
moving on next page next page we got more of my first editions so first edition cyndaquil dark flareon first edition from rocket dark charmeleon which is terrible condition by the way then we got the greninja celebrations promo and the chikorita first edition and then we got the full fossil evolution line of gengar including the hollow not the non-hollow gengar if you guys don't or can't tell gengar is my favorite pokemon i think it's a lot of people's favorite pokemon but yeah, then we got the whole page of Gengar. So we got the Trainer Gallery, the V and V Max from Fusion Strike, and then the EX and Mega EX as well. And we got some promos down there. A little, I think the one in the middle in the bottom row is a deck promo. Then we're moving on to the more full art page. You got a Jolteon full art, Golem from 151, Alakazam, another one of my favorites, Pidgeot, Chen Pao, Chen Pao from Paldea Evolved, I believe. Got the EV VMAX promo, Shiny Senescorch, Pikachu promo. This Greedent is actually one of the first full arts I pulled when I got back into Pokemon. Next up, we got the Shiny page. So we got like two of the promos and then like four other Shinies. Rayolu is definitely my favorite baby Shiny. Then we got more of our art rares, some Japanese arts, which look way better than English, by the way. Just for some reason. Fue Coco, another big one in the shopping cart well not big but i just love that card and we got the korean squirtle from 151 the korean cards are such good condition the centering on that squirtle is so amazing that's why i have it marked if you see those cards they're like what i think are good condition cards or they're pretty perfect on centering you don't really have any white dots anywhere we got both Palde and students right here misfortune sisters the mega venusaur i love that full art misty from evolutions that's such a beautiful card zekrom or pikachu and zekrom another one of my favorites there we got pikachu glaceon rayquaza there's a korean venusaur korean abra palafin art rare for paldean fates and then we got the the snorlax promo from 151 the etb promo here we got some more evolutions that are older cards articuno hollow pretty old we got the signed hop from uh crown zenith moving on to the charizard page you got radiant charizard some promos charizard gx and then a random mu ex see right there also the paldean fates charizard Let's take a closer look at the radiant charizard nice card decent centering not too good left to right but still pretty good quality and then there you go that's the end of our top loader binder all right guys next up right away moving into the evolutions binder which is my silver tempest master set it's not completed yet obviously it's not really even close to completed yet as you can see by the first page now if we flip the page here you can see we still got a little bit filled we got the rest ram v we got the chestnut v uh the vulpix uh reversed uh the braxton reverse i think and actually with my reverses as you know a master set you need to reverse of every card so i have the common card underneath as you can see right here for the example i used the vulpix but there you go the vulpix common is right under the reverse now we flip the page again go on to our water as you can see the amistar v alolan vulpix v we got the regilecki i also have the v max moving on we got the unknown unknown v star Got the Arcanine, the Skuntank V, the Regidrago, the Hoel, the Lugia V Star. Great, great pull. I was very excited that I found that card. The Chestnut V Full Art, which I actually pulled. The Unknown Full Art. The Restaurant Full Art, which is one of my favorites. But I mean, obviously, right there, the Lugia V Full Art. I know you're wondering why is it not in your top loader binder? It's because it needs to be there for the master set. I can't just leave it out of the binder, so it has to go in this binder. But yeah, I actually pulled that card. Me and my girlfriend pulled that card. It was like one of our first ever Silver Tempest packs, and she pulled it. So, yeah, that's mainly the reason why I decided to finish this set, because I already have the most expensive card. So, But as you can see, I have a lot of the trainer galleries. Moving to the back, we have both of the black and white, or the black and yellow gold cards. I love these type of gold cards that are like black in the background. The Rayquaza is obviously better than the Duraludon. But yeah, that's the whole set right there. As you can see, it's not completed yet. It will be one day, but yeah, there it is. Overall, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy my updated Pokemon card collection for 2024. If you have any comments or concerns in the comments, leave them down below, and I will be sure to respond to them. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I will see you guys next time, and I'm out. Peace.